heartbroken and now trying to heal. Loved ones of a murdered mother and her two children gathered together in Henry County to mourn that devastating loss. Uh, police say Sandra White, her teenage son, and her unborn child were killed by White's live-in boyfriend during an hours-long SWAT standoff. Well, Fox News' George Franco was there tonight as family and friends held a vigil for the three victims. First, there were the two caskets for Sandra White and her 16-year-old son, Arcavion. Then there was the small casket carrying the body of Sandra White's unborn baby, Antonio. I saw them bringing it out. I told my friend, I, I probably, because I'm not a crying person, but when I saw the little one come out, I said, okay, oh, I don't know if I can handle this. Little Antonio, his mother and half-brother were memorialized on T-shirts. Ultrasound picture of the baby. Worn by a group of nurses from Atlanta Medical Center. They were co-workers of Sandra White, a nurse herself. It's still not real. That she's not there. That she's not there, because we still look for her every morning. Mm -hmm. Ms. White, her unborn child, and teen son all perished in an hours-long standoff at their Stockbridge home last week. Police say the gunman, White's live-in boyfriend, Anthony Bailey, murdered them, shot and injured two police officers, then took his own life. Authorities believe Sandra White, who was nearly nine months pregnant, was trying to end her abusive relationship with Bailey. Her friends say as a nurse and person, she always helped others, but didn't ask for help for herself. There's no explanation because we were all so close, but you never know what other people are going through at home. The public visitation for the slain mother and her two children comes on one of the days of National Crime Victims' Rights Week. Friends say it's a tragic loss with a message for others. What's the big lesson here for others? Reach out to your friends. Let, yeah, let somebody know. If you're in trouble. If you're in trouble. I'm George Franco, Fox 5 News.